Alrighty, we are doing an unboxing for the Pocket Game Design Kit, which has been done by Sean Fenimore uh, of State of Mind Games, and it is, as described, pocket-sized. Getting a lot of glare there, but it's right, quite sleek. Little mint tin. I don't really have any fondness for mint tin games because I don't need things to be small, but I do need game design to be small. So let's have a look at what we get. Uh, it's all nice and tight. We have oh, a little bit of sticky tape there, which will just peel off. Ah, now let's check something. This is in my pocket. Is it going to fall open? No, good. All right, so we have red dice. It's actually really elegant how we fit all this stuff in. Red, blue dice, black dice, some counters, red. Black, yellow, blue, pencil, looks like a good quality one as well. Now, whoops, all these counters, some square, some round. Um, I don't have the exact details, but there sure is a lot of them. Uh, looks like five of each color uh, in two different shapes. Uh, no, four, four circles and, no, five, yeah, five circles in yellow, five squares in yellow, and the same for the other two colors. Then we've got little pieces of card for making cards, and what is this? A large piece of paper to make a board. And that is what A5, so you know that an A5 piece of paper will fold exactly eight times to fit perfectly in there. And these are the ones I imagine um, it might be A7 or something, but they're actually a really good size. And there's about 20 of those. Um, and yeah, like it's actually. I don't think I'm going to have too much trouble getting it all back in either. It's not like it was all some sort of clever design. Uh, because, I don't know, you need to put the dice in this little hole where the cards aren't. Oh, there we go. Get the pencil out. Um, whack the dice in there, and then just scoop up these little ones. And in it goes. So that gives you, you know, quite a lot of combinations. You can make a small card deck. You can easily produce a bunch of different random numbers, and you can uh, you can actually play something like that's what something we, I always stress when I'm teaching is that you need to actually be able to iterate to test if something is working. You've got to be able to just go right. Here are the cards. Put them down. Move a thing around and just go. Is that actually fun? Are we? Are we actually thinking and making interesting choices? And honestly, sometimes I'm out, I am out on the road and I'm like, I actually need to check that. I just want to, and it, it also helps remind me to make it ugly, you know, because it can be so tempting to go, well, I'll test that when I can make it pretty. Let this be a reminder to you that you don't need to make it pretty. I actually do a lot of my game design on a train, um, on the train when I'm traveling uh, to work and things because I've usually got a nice seat in front of me um, that I can use as a little table. I can't get the pencil in. Um, I'm sure I can find a way to get the pencil in. Let's see how quickly I can solve this problem live on camera. Hmm. Other people might be less derpy than me and be better at getting the pencil in. Yeah. My hands are a bit unsteady today because of the fun medications I'm on. Will you go in? Um, you just have to get the pencil in first. Then all the little bits will work because they'll, they'll just shift around it. There we go. See, now it's in. And then we can just put in that, and we can put in that. And a little bit just go in. Yeah, so I do a lot of designing on the train. And... I have a little bag that I carry with me to every job, and this will just slide in so easily. 
Um, honestly, it sounds like a silly idea to have a bit of game design on with you all the times, but that is when inspiration strikes. So I cannot recommend this enough. Not just, as I said, because you might need it, but because it will make you want to use it and get you thinking about, I can do game design anytime I want. I don't have to get home and get on my computer and make it pretty. I can just get my kit, make some notes, get it working. I highly recommend the Pocket Game Design Kit from State of Mind Games. Every game designer should have one. Check it out. Uh, they're available on State of Mind Games' website, I think. Um, more in the show notes, more in the notes below, or go to State of Mind Games to find out more. Alright, so, cool stuff. Well done, Sean.